I'm worried about the fact that I took the skin off. A lot of people didn't take the skin off, and I don't know whether I made the right decision. Looking a bit nervous. I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> took the skin off. Yeah. Skin One off. of the few people to have taken the skin off. This isn't great uh, skin for, for cooking. I love all those flavors. Uh, love how you fried the fish. Job well done. I think you got all the elements that we were looking for. So go and join the other guys that side. Well done. Thank you so much. I'm quite proud of myself for cooking a fish that I don't know for the first time. Session. You know, for me, it's a very tasteful dish, and I'd like to see more of what you can do. You're through to the next round, my man. Lovely. Stuff. Lovely. For me to go through to the Master Chef kitchen would be a sort of voice saying in my head, maybe you're good enough what you want to do. The pan fried one is lacking something. Just the lemon is not enough. There's nothing tying the two together, and I find the fish overcooked and a little bit bland. Now, for me, overall seasoning is not there, and I'm disappointed in uh, bones that I'm finding in both fish. Bubble. I'm sorry to say, but it's, it's the end of your MasterChef journey. Please leave your apron. Go on, cheers. Thanks, In spite of me trying really hard, so not the best day. Pila. It's nice to see you doing a bit of cooking this time, Pila. You got a little flustered in last season on the chip making. It was a bit of a daunting exercise because I'm not very experienced when it comes to fish, but I gave it my best shot. The sauce, when it went onto the plate, it looked kind of gloopy. But angelfish needs a thicker type of sauce. And that was a good idea. Whether it was intentional or not, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I really love the texture on the fish. Uh, however, I wasn't happy with the vegetables. They're a bit too soft for me. I'll let you know later. I was confident that my flavors would carry me through. Today I've made a pan-seared uh, angelfish. I've also made uh, spiced potato cylinders. If you have so little on the plate, you have to make sure that everything that's on there has to be cooked properly. You cannot put potato on there that's undercooked. It was almost still raw. Chuck, we're going to have to come back to you. I definitely think I've done enough at this point. I've cooked four different things. I've made uh, mate on our family Mauritian curry, and then also a, a fairly hot chili sauce. <laughs> a bit of scope to it. Yeah. <laughs> Which we like. I think this is fantastic. It's the business. Yeah, I mean, this is home for me. For me, that's the real deal. Oh yeah. In other words, this means that you're going to go to the next round. Thank you. I'm very happy with my plates. Let's have a look. I decided to keep it on the bone. There as far as a little bit risky. Just tuck it in there. It's nicely cooked through. For me, if you understand angelfish, that's how you would do it. So you left the bone on there, you know, but it's not these little fine bones, it's the big ones, so you, you know, you can miss it if you yep. eat it. You've got all the elements that we're looking for in the dish, and I think you've done a good job. Thank you. Ian, I say you've done enough to go through the next round, my man. Thank you. Love. Hello, Roxy. To come this far and, and not make it through, especially on the first day, would just break my heart. Okay, I've made an angelfish uh, laksa. I like it. I get the lime, I get the coconut. Lovely bowl of curry. The fish is still beautifully moist in there. Roxy, you're going through. Well done. <laughs> I needed to hug all of them. I had to. So I was super stoked to, like, show sure. Adele. It's almost there. For me, I think we need to taste a few more plates before we make a decision. It's pure. Right, so uh, I decided to make some angel fish cakes. 
I, I think the fish cake's maybe a little on the dry side, but I like the direction this is going. We'll get back to you. You know, I'm longing for a little bit more seasoning. I think we need to taste a few more plates first. It, it's, it's crying out for sauce. The fish is overcooked. It just didn't work for us. My problem is this just tastes like chorizo. That's not good enough for this competition. Michelle, that's just not good enough to go through the next round. I have to ask you to hang up your apron. Tell us about your dish, right. please. I wanted to go a little bit out the box, so I made a very light bibretti. Let's taste. Yeah. Yeah, proof of the puddings and the eating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm from the Cape. We love a here. I grew up on this stuff. Um, I wasn't convinced. And then I tasted it. And I was completely convinced. I can finish that whole plate. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Well, you took a chance today. Yeah. And it paid off. <laughs> well done, you're going through. Uh, thank you. Claire, tell us what you made. I have made you a pan-fried angelfish, seasoned with fresh herbs. I've done made you gnocchi. The fish and the fennel and the sauce would have been enough. Okay. By that I mean that's already a great dish. You've added process to that by showing us you can make gnocchi as well, so I think that's just a double bonus. Beba, I like it. Oh. We want to see some more. Yes. So you're through to the next challenge. <laughs> Let's see if it's good. It's crisp um, and it's refreshing. I'm happy enough to send you through. Well done. Well done. Very good. Thank you guys. Thank you. Really appreciate it. So I really like all those flavors. You are also into the next one. Abigail, I love the presentation. It looks very appetizing. We would like to send you into the next one. Hey. Yes, sir. I would say on the surface, the fish looks a bit overcooked. Yes, Dice. You know, hollandaise sauce is not a lot of people that can pull it off, but you try it and you flavor it with citrus, which I like the idea. Uh, the fish is a bit on the dry side. We're going to have to try a few more dishes before we make any final decisions on your dish. This could be it. This could be me going home or staying in the competition. It's heart wrenching. Danny. Small portion fish, yeah? <laughs> My heart's racing, and I, I just hope that they enjoy what I've cooked for them. For me, cooking it on the bone, you're always going to get moist fish like that. The problem is, how do you season it to get, you know, all that salt and, and flavor in there? I think we need to taste some more before we make a decision. Thank you. On top here. Tasty, but is it enough? We'll come back to you. Do not, uh, I think we need to taste one or two more plates before we make a decision. Too much of the grapefruit brings in that bitterness at the end, which is a bit unpleasant. We're gonna have to taste what the other contestants dished up for us. Oddly enough, I'm feeling quite confident. Yeah, the fish for me cooked really, really nicely. Slightly under seasoned to my liking. Okay. And I'm gonna let you know. Just it. For me, the best thing on this plate are the pickled radishes. The problem is that favorite thing on the plate should be the fish. I think we'll have to wait and see. Right, move in. It's a pity you didn't do justice to your great filleting work of the fish. I think we, we need to think long and hard about these dishes. Thanks, Mervyn. I hope it's good enough for them. And Elisa. Hi. It looks a bit green. Green veg, green fish. It, it, it looks a bit... It's eco-friendly. Is it eco-friendly? <laughs> okay. For me, the, the fish is overcooked to the point of almost being sort of powdery in your mouth. Broccoli florets were so overcooked that they started breaking off and it looks like chopped up herbs. Didn't really make the cut. Keep on cooking, Annalisa. Thank you. 
it's sad that it has to end now. <laughs>